Hey, what's going on, guys? Today, I am bringing you a nice little Halo 3 gameplay while we talk about some Halo 3 Anniversary. Now, the one big thing about uh, Halo 3 Anniversary is that it's 2017. Halo 3 Anniversary most likely going to happen this year. And so there's a few things that I feel like need to be like discussed about Halo 3 Anniversary when it comes out, what it, what it should be when it comes out and stuff like that. The gameplay in the background, by the way, just did it like a few minutes ago. Didn't really do that good. 10-3, it's all right. Some Halo 3 ranked the Master Chief Collection. But anyways, one thing, it's a big one, that is very needy or a necessity for Halo 3 Anniversary. In my opinion, I don't know what you guys think of it, let me know. Um, one big thing is that it needs to be a mega update and like an add-on with Halo the Master Chief Collection. The reason why I believe that is because it's just like Master Chief Collection would be like the all-in-one like the all-in-one like collection for Halo 2 Anniversary, Halo 3 Anniversary, Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. And I feel like after now, like how the game is like, Master Chief Collection is like, it's good now, it works. There's no connection problems in Mashbang, and you see I got into a game, everyone's playing it. So, if we go into Halo 3 Anniversary, there's a chance that that's going to happen again. I don't want it to happen again, because I really like this game. I really like Master Chief I really love Halo 3. It's my favorite game of all time, and I really feel like that's how it should be done. How, like, the price tag on it, I feel like it should be, like, a $30 add-on. So it's, like, so it's... Half the price of a new game. I mean, Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary was forty dollars. The whole Master Chief Collection was sixty dollars. So Halo 3 Anniversary maybe could be thirty, maybe forty. If you want to go forty, I'm fine with that. I'm getting it either way. I don't care how much it's gonna be. I don't care if it's a hundred dollars. I'll put a hundred dollars in it. It's my favorite game of all time. So let's hope that it happens. That's that's what I think. Do you guys think it should be a full game? Do you think it should be an add-on to Master Chief Collection? Let me know. Secondly, as you can see here, we are on the map Guardian. Now, this is what I think. I've also I increased my movement speed a little just to show off the map. Um, secondly, what they need, you know, with Halo Combat Evolved and Halo 2 Anniversary, they remastered a couple of maps. And this map is one of them that definitely 100% should be remastered. Just in general, you know, because this is just the ultimate 1v1 map. This is the 2v2 map. This is, you could even do some 4v4 on this map, it'll be a little, it's a little tight cornered, it's a little everything, but, you know, it's, it's what makes the map good, you know, just, just the thought of playing, you know, what I always say, 1v1 Halo 3 Guardian, this is it right here, you know, you get the sniper spawn right there, you get the little, uh, top pad up here, you get the little grab ups over there, you get to kill an enemy, then you get to stand over here, and then spawn kill him right there, those are the best times. Now, just like in Halo 1 and Halo 2, they remastered six maps, so we're going to go over six of them. The second one, I feel like, as you can see here, is definitely The Pit. Now, I just feel like this is one of those maps that definitely need to be remastered. There's a few of them that are controversial. There's a lot of maps. Well, actually, there's not really a lot of maps in this game, so it's difficult to pick six to remaster. But I feel like Guardian and The Pit are definitely two that they should. The only argument here is that Halo 4 kind of remastered the pit, but they didn't really remaster it, they kind of just changed the colors and just modernized it for Halo 4 standards, but I definitely feel like this should just be a complete remaster when Halo 3 Anniversary comes out, just because this map just has some crazy ranked capture the flag game modes, if you remember that, some intense fights with that, and there's also like the sniper spawns and going cross maps, energy sword right here. Where is it? The nice little nade up top here. Killed the fucking stupid ass energy sword camper. But yeah, that one, these two maps definitely are two of them that definitely be remastered in this game. Now, Construct, I feel like, would be the third map. I don't know why, like, I don't, this map is okay. I don't hate it, I don't like it, but I just feel like this would be a map they'd remaster. Just because of, like, the layout of it, the nice three-floor system, the verticality, change it up a bit from the classic 
Halo, t Halo, like, that's what I'm looking for. Non-verticality, I guess. Horizontality would be the word, maybe. I don't know. But just the verticality of this map just... I don't know, I guess it just brings me back. It's just one of the maps that I seem to always play on in Lone Wolves and uh, Halo 3, which we'll go back to that topic later in Lone Wolves. But this is definitely one of the maps that I feel like will also, or should get remastered because just just the layout, the feel. It, for me, it was either this one or Epitaph, however you pronounce that map. I don't even know how to pronounce it. But, um, it, but for some reason, I just kept thinking of this map. I felt like this should be the one that should get a remaster. I don't know why. It, there's so many other maps, too, which we'll talk about those later, too. But, like, I just feel like that this one will get a remaster. I mean, it's a pretty cool map, I guess. But, yeah. So that's number three. Now, map number four here, as you can see, we are on Valhalla. This one must get a remaster. It, it's it's a debatable one, though, because, again, you could say Halo 4 did it already. Yeah, but, again, that's within Halo 4's Xbox 360 standards. Imagine what you could do on the Xbox One. Maybe even Project Scorpio, you could argue, because that will be coming out at the end of this year. I'll just sort that banshee real quick, no likes it but yeah so just imagine like what you could do with the map like this this is a fan favorite too whenever it comes up everyone votes for it whether it's the ragnarok version whether it's the blood gulch version just any version at all everyone always seems to vote for it and i just feel like that it should definitely be one of the remasters and it probably will be because this is just one of the better maps in my opinion too good layout good sniper layout just all around good map the next one up in my opinion number five would definitely be standoff as you can see we are on it and the only reason why I think it should be standoff is just I mean like I like the map a lot but the skybox man look at this look at these satellites they just look so cool in my opinion and you got the background over here like, imagine what you could do with that. You got the moon up there, too. You just got so much that you could do with maps like this. With the this, with this skybox and even the layout of it, too. This is... I mean, I kind of... I really like this map with the layout and everything. And I just feel like it's really damn cool. I really think they should definitely consider remastering Standoff. And, yeah. And the sixth and final map... In my opinion, as you can see, we are on Sand Trap. Yes, Sand Trap definitely, definitely should be one of the remasters, because this map is just awesome, especially with those two things right over there and right over there, if you know what I mean. The two elephants, oh man, those will bring back great times. I remember times capture the flag. There's, I think there's even a video on my channel. If you, if you could even check. Way back when. Uh, I did a video. I'll actually, I'll show you right now. So, basically, if you remember, way back in the day, you get matched in the game of Big Team Battle. You get into a game of Capture the Flag on Sand Trap. Every single time, we would play Capture the Flag. Me and my friends are just me. Just whatever. Whatever would happen. These elephants would always get involved somehow, some way. The reason why they get involved somehow, some way is just because, like, they were where the flag was, and it was the base, and everyone would spawn on the elephant. So, we would, like, always make them collide, or we just move them at certain points. Like, there were points where we would, like, we would make one elephant here, and we'd somehow just take the other elephant and put it over there, and we'd just have battles across here. And there were other times where... Like, there was, if you saw the video way back when in the day, I did this, I crashed the elephants into each other, and then I was able to just grab the flag, and then score, and then grab the flag and score, and we just won the game just like that. It's just, it's just so cool with these elephants, man. This map gets remastered. This one, if they do remastered Halo 3, definitely needs to get remastered. Especially, look at this, look at this. You have, like, a sandstorm going on. You have this huge UNSC frigate right above us like it would just be so cool for this map to get remastered okay going back to the gameplay now let's keep going here now the next step on the list 
is um, the being that we were talking about multiplayer maps, might as well talk about the multiplayer game modes. So one thing that definitely needs to return is the ranked game game modes, especially the Lone Wolves playlist. I don't know if you guys remember Lone Wolves, but Lone Wolves was one. Uh, it was a free for all six player game mode, and it was ranked, so it was very competitive. I just played, I, that was the only thing I played back in the day. Just low wolves nonstop. The highest rank I got to, I think, was 40. I never got to 50. Really wanted to get to 50, but I was unable to do that. So uh, that's when I was. How how long ago was that? I played in 2009. Seven years ago. Damn, long ass time ago. 70 years ago it was when I was uh, playing that. No, I actually feel like that was. I feel like it was longer ago, but whatever. Or not as long ago. Maybe 2011 or something. Like that. I don't know. Whatever. No big deal. Um, but yeah, that was definitely one of the cool things. And also the social playlists, that was also really cool. With, um, what's it called? Um, it was Social Slayer, that was really fun. And like I said, Social Big Team, when you get a uh, match with um, the, like, the, the Capture the Flag games, the veto system was really cool. But I mean, now they have the voting system instead of the veto system, which is better. It's better, there's no doubt about it. People like to choose what they want to play rather than being forced to play on certain maps, which I get. It's all right. Um, also, the armor customization for the multiplayer. That was really cool. In Master Chief Collection, there wasn't really that much. Halo 5, there was a shit ton. So, I mean, Halo 3, as long as you bring back the originals, that's all I really want. They don't have to bring back. They don't have to make new ones. They don't have to do any of that stuff. Just the original stuff. Just customize myself in entirety the way I used to. Maybe a chance to bring Recon Armor back. Speaking of Recon Armor, maybe the 7-on-7 seven seven playlist. If you do that, if you don't remember what 7-on-7 seven seven was, it was a game mode where it was 7th of every month. You would play the... It was, there was a free-for-all 7-player game mode. And if you finish top 4 in the free-for-all game, you get XP no matter what. So, then there's a Vidmaster challenge that you needed to get 7 experience points on the 7th of the month. So it was very difficult, because you had to win 7 games basically if you played anything else other than 7 on 7. So, yeah, that was, that was pretty cool. It was one of the cooler things. Uh, and also the campaign. Now, one thing about the campaigns that they did with Combat Evolved, and especially with Halo 2, Combat Evolved just updated the graphics of the stuff and the cutscenes. Halo 2, they completely redesigned the cutscenes. I'm sure you're not an invisible guy here. I don't know where you went, but he's somewhere. Um, Halo 2, they completely redesigned the cutscenes. And the graphics were awesome and everything was awesome. Halo 3, it's very questionable because the, the Xbox 360, as you can see, graphics weren't that bad on the Xbox 360, so I don't really know how they would uh, portray everything, maybe just like update the graphics, like they can't do like an overhaul like they did with Halo 1 and Halo 2, they can only like kind of update it, there's really no nothing else to really do, and you know, that's honestly alright, I mean, I just want to see it remastered, I just want to see it in this full glory, what it, what Rooker what Industries could really do. Last. But not least, the infamous classic Forge mode that I feel like needs to be remastered. Just maybe they could keep the original stuff. I mean, I'll show you Sandbox, obviously, because Sandbox is the map for Forge. And you could also go in this teleporter up here, and then you have a whole huge area to just Forge and do whatever the fuck you want. And the only problem with Forge in Halo 3, it's a great, it's a great tool and all, but like... The, the physics and stuff of matching stuff over and it is it was just really annoying to play with i mean this is cool and all you can do stuff with it, it you, people were able to do a lot of crazy stuff with halo 3 forge and then halo reach came out and made it even crazier so and then halo 2 anniversary forge was amazing halo 5 forge you could do amazing stuff with but i don't really like the controls so I, I had a hard time doing stuff with it. But if you could remaster Halo 3 Forge, or 3 or 3 Industries could remaster Halo 3 Forge, like, in a positive feedback way, maybe, maybe like, the Halo 2 Anniversary, I like the Halo 2 Anniversary Forge way better than the Halo 5 Forge, just because of the controls. But I mean, it's probably, it's 
generally the same idea with that stuff, but definitely an infinite budget would help so much, because that was the major problem about Halo 3 Forge, Halo 4 Forge, and with the Xbox One, you're able to have way more stuff, which is way better. But, um, that was a major problem with Halo 3 Forge was the budget, but they remaster the Forge in a much better way, and you could even use the same objects that are in here and then add some that would be really cool to add some like a tin cup like this is awesome it's a fucking tin cup in halo like it was awesome at the time and then also the thing about this map was that what made this map so cool is right over here you could just kind of go underneath but then you just get a little underneath thing and then you got the whole basement thing that you could just fuck around with that was really cool now i just one other thing like, one problem about Halo 3 Anniversary is that I said there was six maps and it needs to be an add-on Master Chief Collection. If it's its own game, that's fine, but what they should do, they should do, they're gonna make it their own $60 game, is that they got to re- they should just remaster all the maps if they're gonna do it that way. Wait, is this not centered? I just realized this. Huh, it's not. I never really noticed that. But, uh, uh yeah, so... If they remastered all the maps, and then even the Forge and everything, if they if they overhauled Halo 3, basically, and did everything the way they could, it would be so, so cool, because, like, that would be, that would be a full $60 worth right there, just a 2017 version of Halo 3 for $60, that would be, that would be insane. Now, one final thing about, uh, the Halo 3 campaign thing was, um, I just remembered that, the Xbox One Master Chief Collection version, it already upscaled at 1080p, so it's even a little better than it used to be. So now that's kind of like a remaster as comparison to, it's not really a remaster, it's just like, it kind of, like, already did something to it. But I mean, like, they could always do more, because you can see they could definitely do way more. You saw it with Halo 2 Anniversary, see it in this game too. Um, and yeah, I think... Just overall, I'm really excited for Halo 3 Anniversary, and I don't know what you guys think, let me know in the comments. I basically said everything I need to say. Um, got nothing else to really say. Maybe if they want to bring back terminals, skulls, achievements, maybe some new terminals, new skulls, new achievements, and maybe all that stuff, like, that's basically it after that, though. Guys, let me know what you think. Uh, thank you for watching. Here's the rest of the gameplay, and, uh, peace out.